Welcome back to the Chick Thrifts, honey, where you come for the fashion, but I hope you stay because you know I love you. Hey, y'all, listen, I know you can see that it is a little different. The scenery is different behind us, so we're doing something a little different today. So whatever time you are seeing this, know that somebody loves you. We are doing our patio reveal. Now, it is say 99% done <laughs> but I still have a little couple of tweaks I want to do but we got time but I did want to go ahead and get this out so I can show you the progress and where we are now so once again if you are new here I am your host Mitra aka sugar mama and usually we are in the comforts and the comforts of my YouTube room, studio, whatever you want to call it. Having a good old time, honey. But today, because I'm doing the reveal, I figured I would just start outside. And it is nighttime. Yes. I was going to do it earlier, but I really wanted you guys to get the ambiance of it all. And then I will put in clips um, if for the daytime so you can see what it kind of, because it, it almost looks like this in the daytime because the colors are so dark and the type of wood i chose to stain it with it's so dark i went ahead and just made it like a really calm ambiance feel so i wanted you to get the real feel of what it feels like back here we're gonna start with the outfit of the day of course of course and the hair y'all know i changed my hair so we'll do that really quick but we're going to welcome all our new people. We love y'all. Welcome, honey. Listen, if you're new here, you came just in time. <laughs> y'all came just in time. So I'm a little excited. So forgive me for my voice. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. But I think it's from all the excitement. And um, just excited to show you guys. So welcome. We love you here. Before you leave, I hope you like, you comment, and you subscribe. I can see you, girl, and check out these hauls and all the fun we have over here. And make sure you're checking out my vlogs, honey, on Thursday. And to the family members, honey, y'all ready? Are y'all are are you ready? I hope you got to get you something to drink, get you something to snack and kiki with, because we're going to have some fun for a few minutes, y'all. So come on, let's go. Let's, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, you guys, so I'm just going to show you my hair really quick. I hope that you can see my hair. It's just some clip-ins. I'm going for the clip-in. Uh, I don't know whether it's just going to be a clip-in summer. I may add some braids in in the summer somewhere, some ponytails, but this going to be a clip-in summer. I just did two big braids going straight down the front, uh, Pocahontas style. That's just what I was feeling. Something real quick because I just need something for a couple of weeks. Um, but I needed something I didn't have to fuss over. So I threw these um, textured clip-ins. And they have like this really tight, simple curl on the ends. They kind of hang and then curl. So I just threw these in. I'll turn around. It is not as full as the last set of clip-ins. Those were bomb. I'm going back and get those. Um, there, I will make sure I put in at the bottom in the description bottom. I will put the name of the clip-ins because they're just a simple pair of synthetic clip-ins. So are these. These are, are synthetic. And you just open the clamp. I, I will be showing in the blog. So if you really want to see how they work, you can either Google or YouTube um, how to uh, attach clip-ins in or in my vlog next week on Thursday I'm doing a quick tutorial showing you how to snap them open you just clamp them on your hair and snap them back closed it is that simple it took me about 15-20 minutes to do my hair but I love it it's just simple 
Um, and I put some braid, I mean, some beads on the ends, nothing too fancy. And of course, y'all know I have my flower and my hair jewelry that I have to put in my hair. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and do the outfit of the day. Cause I was feeling real. I think this was giving tribal. Y'all let me know if you're feeling tribal also. So we're feeling tribal. So I just went with this look. I'll show you the outfit of the day. And then we're going to jump right on in to what's going on around me, y'all. I'm so excited. Okay, like I said, this is that tribal printed baby doll top that we have. And I just threw it on with the simple um, skirt. I will try to make sure I put a full view here so you can see the I'll do that one in the inside so you can so you can see a clearer view of what I'm wearing um but I did put on some sneakers with it because I had on um in the vlog I put my Charlie Browns on but I did have on some dressier shoes but I went out with the fellas and wanted to be a little more casual and comfortable um and we just went to eat pizza so I didn't want to be overdressed so I just threw on these charlie browns and ended up being really cute and comfortable and i threw in the glasses just so i can pull it together but i hope you guys like the look i'm not gonna spend too much time on it if you have not seen this look make sure you go check out my last um i want to say my last haul video if i'm not mistaken check out the last haul video and you'll see the exact um shirt style with a, a different skirt you can see how a different way to style it if you like this but it was a long sleeve shirt that i cut um myself i just cut it in like asymmetrical the sleeves because i did not it's summer i just wanted some um short sleeves and so i just did a quick diy and i did that in the vlog so if you wanted to see that you can in the last vlog and it's just a beautiful long dress kind of tail or trail in the back but it was so cute and everybody loved it everywhere when everybody was asking me about my my little shirt so i hope you guys like it we're not gonna spend too much more time on it let's go ahead and jump into this patio reveal because i know that's what you came here for but i love you god loves you and we're gonna have some fun for a few minutes this video is not gonna be as long as my usual videos but we're going to take it step by step and we're going to walk around and check everything out. So let's go ahead and jump into our patio reveal, y'all. Finally. Come on, Jesus. Come on, somebody. Let me hear you say, but God. After everything, but God. Come on. Okay, so we're going to get started. And we'll start from this side of the room, which is where my projector screen is. As you can see, um, I'm standing in front of it. So... I just have a really beautiful, let's see if you can see that, really beautiful um, fire scape and a little water view here on the picture for now. Um, didn't want to put anything too fancy up there because you really can't see the glare because all of the lights are on. But when you turn the lights off back here, it looks just like a movie theater. Um, but it's this beautiful projector screen. And I just sit back here and enjoy, of course, the movies. Now, a lot of this haul, or not haul, but a lot of this video will probably not have me in it because I'm. you will hear me talking, but I'm just going to be showing you and telling you where something came from. If you recognize something and remember where you saw me thrift it or get it off the clearance rack, if it came from Amazon, I will let you know. Um, but we're going to do like one of those types of things where I just kind of walk you through it um, and then at the end, I'll come back and talk a little bit more and then I always do my favorite part of the video to tell you how much I love you and I appreciate y'all so much. So let's go ahead and jump into it. But remember, I did not light a fire tonight because I'm not going to be out here that long tonight. But you will be seeing vlogs and videos where the fireplace, you'll see it in a second, will be lit, honey. Yes, but we're not going to light it tonight. So I just wanted to let you know ahead of time. But well, let's go ahead and get started, y'all. Here we go. I'll see you guys at the end. Okay, so this is, like I said, the start of the refresh or redo of the patio. And this is what the view looks like if you come in from the back. You actually see the screen. 
And as you walk out the door, baby, come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. We have our fireplace here. Miss Margaret, I love you forever, forever, forever. My girlfriend gifted me this fireplace a couple of years ago when I first um, put that prayer up to God about my patio. And she, she it, it just showed up courtesy of her and her heart. Uh, from my mouth to God's ear to her heart, she gifted me this fireplace and I love her for it. So I will forever be in love with her for this. And I just decorated it with, um, there's two ottomans on each side. Now this um, fireplace is a wood burning or however you want to burn. I do bio um, oils. I burn bio oils in that fireplace so like i said i'm not gonna light it tonight but you can do whatever you want to do back here you can do s'mores whatever the case is and so what i did was i went to goodwill and every time i found greenery i just picked it up and then i separated it and made my own mantle i found these i don't know if you guys were with or have seen the vlog of me um thrifting this little wood here and I turned into it my own mantle so I made that mantle out of those pieces of twigs and wood that I found at the thrift store and I just took some rope that I found at the thrift store and that's how I you know put it together pretty much it was like a DIY if you watch one of the hauls recently that's the way I put it together and that is real wood in there and there is a Amazon has these little um, stone boxes that you can pour bioethanol or biofuel or bio oils in and burn it that way versus just burning wood and then you get all that smoke. So when I burn my oil, I don't get any smoke. It's just fire. It's just really pretty. Um, and I took some candles, of course, that I got from the Dollar Tree and I put them on top of there. And uh, if you remember, this piece came from Home Goods. It's like something you can put napkins in, but I thought it would be really pretty because it was my color. Um, it was in my color scheme and it kind of balanced out my, my fireplace. Um, but I thought it came out pretty good. You guys keep me posted. Let me know what you think so far. Now we're gonna go down to the bottom where we got all of our Home Good, some of our Home Good pieces. Here we go. Okay, so my next couple of pieces, of course, you guys saw me thrift a lot of these pieces. Um, that bucket there came from Goodwill for like 99 cents. And I already had those lights from my previous patio. And those little people were the ones I showed you guys in that hall. And that is real wood under there. I actually took my old table. Can you see that table under there? That's my table that I used before. And all I did was sit my fireplace on top of my table and then stack the wood underneath. So it looks like um, one of those wood inserts that you just stick wood in and have it ready to burn. And I mean, God put that on my heart and it came out so pretty. I love the way that came out. If you look at it, it looks like the bottom of the fireplace, but it's actually my table that I used to sit in front of my couch over here. But I just threw some greenery and all of my plants are faux. I will tell you which ones are real when we get to them, but for the most part, most of them are the faux plants. And like I said, these are my ottomans that I used to have in front of my couches or my chairs. But I turned them into an L shape, like if we have extra company, so now you can get a full look. And if somebody wants to sit there and have a drink and talk to the rest of the people, they can. So this is how it looks from this angle here. And I'll step around. And this is the view you get if you're sitting on the couch. So I'm looking for something really pretty to put right here. I just haven't figured out what I want to put there yet. If you have any ideas, let me know because that kind of looks empty under there. I love how empty it looks, but I do want to put something in the front underneath there. 
nothing bulky or big but I love the way that looks so far. So let me know what I'm doing so far, you guys. This is new for me. Um, you can't really see the curtains because they are black. So as you can see, my color scheme is greens, browns, blacks, and golds, and whites. You know, those neutral, natural colors. Um, and so what I did was I went and got one of those really um, shaggy rugs to put right in front of the fireplace. So if you walk out, it just looks so serene and tranquil back here. Forgive me for the lighting, um, but we're gonna go ahead and start going around to the back where the couch and everything is. I hate the way you can't see the lighting, but this is the other side where you can see um, I painted that gold basket gold. You guys are with me. I paid like $2 for that basket. And every time I find greenery in Goodwill, I grab it. And that is a light. It, it is a working light. And this is my furniture that I got off of uh, market, Facebook Marketplace. I think I paid $200 for all of my furniture a couple of years ago. So let's go ahead and jump into the furniture and the rest of the patio. And I'm going to try to fix the lighting so you can see it a little bit better because it's giving off like this yellowish look. But hold on. Let me see what I can see if I can fix it up a little bit better. OK, this is one of the sitting areas that I have now these. This is my rug here. I got these rugs off of Big Lots um, for seventy nine dollars. And there's two of them because they go all the way across from here all the way to the other end of the patio and i also got 20 percent off so if you're looking for indoor outdoor rugs please check big lots out they have a really good sale and i went ahead and layered another colorful rug on the top just to bring some dimension and some color but i chose this um unique looking and it has these greens and creams just trying to pull out that green. I really was feeling that green with that natural wood. If you can see how that combination looks together. I really love how this came out. I'm not completely done yet, but I love how it's coming together. See how those yellows and browns are pulling together. And so I just went ahead and on Amazon, I got these two rugs for $20 each and they're five by sevens. So it looks a little smaller on camera but i just put them side by side to bring out a little more of the color and that's my girl up there that's our that's our artwork forgive me for my light y'all but this is the seating on this side and this is that this is that table or that um speaker table that i got from five below i do not recommend it i now i'll say this I give it a 10 out of 10 for easy putting together the directions and it being a really cute table, but I give it a, a two for sound. It is, the sound is terrible. Terrible. I will not tell you no lie. Y'all know I love you. But if you're looking for something that you just need to make a little noise for you, it'll make a little noise for you. There's no bass at all on that speaker. I think that's what the problem is. But you can it does play music it does play whatever you're trying to play videos whatever you have coming through your phone it will come through there that is that jar that i put um that i got from home goods and those are the pieces of twigs or wood that i had left so i made this little piece of art <laughs> I call myself making a piece of art and that is that light that we got um, from Goodwill and I painted it gold if you can remember in one of the halls and that is that lampshade I made out of a basket and I just took the rest of that twill or that that string and tied it around and it came out really good so I hope you guys like I hope you guys like this setting I hope you can see it a little bit better tomorrow in the light but I did want you to see what it looks like at night these pillows are just covers. I recovered my own pillows and you can get these covers. I got four pillow covers 
for nine dollars on Amazon. So if you need pillow covers, you can get four of them for uh, under ten dollars on Amazon. And I just got this little thing for a dollar at Big Lots and the flowers and the candle um, from Goodwill. If you guys are with me, I've been finding things like this at Goodwill. So this ends up being that side of my conversation room over there. So if they want to watch the movie, they can still see the movie or they can conversate amongst each other. Or I can pull those ottomans and they can put them right in front of them and relax, take a nap, whatever they want to do. But I hope you guys like this so far. Um, like I said, I hope you can see it. I might turn that light off because that light is giving off a little more yellow. So let's turn it off and see what happens. But I hope you guys are enjoying so far. But let me know in the comments what you think of the color scheme so far. But I think our girl looks good up there bringing it together. Here we go. Okay, so I turned the projector off for a minute. I turned the projector off for a minute so we can get some of the yellow lighting off. So I hope that you can still see the vision. Now, this is that table that I got from Goodwill maybe about a week or so ago. It was already painted black, and I didn't even have to paint it. I just cleaned it up, and we bought those flowers, that greenery from Goodwill. And I put it there because I have all of my electronics hidden under the table. So when you walk out, you don't see all of my speakers and um, projector uh, cords and wires. And this is the other side of the conversation area. So you can sit on this side or you can sit here, lay down, take a nap, watch a movie. But the table came out really good. Here's that burlap I found for 99 cent. Um, and I just popped all of that stuff up with these are the trays and the peacocks that I found at um, what is it? Home Goods. And this little thing here we found at Goodwill. And it came out so pretty. I'm not finished decorating the table just yet. I'm missing some greenery on the table. But so far, I think it, it came out pretty good. But as you can see, getting um a lot of this is a real plant here i don't do very well with real plants but i love this plant and there is that basket that i painted and i kind of just propped it up and put a little artwork with it but this area is another lounging seating area right next to the couch and as you can see these are the colors that we're pulling from and these are also just pillow covers and i got a, a hunter green throw rug or throw blanket but i wanted to bring a little yellow pop gold but that golden yellow to bring it out so this is where you i guess you know you just sit and watch a movie and enjoy a movie and those are the ottomans that i use over by the fireplace so you can either put the ottomans here or you can sit here and relax. It's just up to you to come back and wherever you want to sit and pray and be one with the Lord back here and just be filled with joy. Then you sit wherever you want to sit at, honey. But it is there is a space for you in here. But I hope you guys can see the color scheme. But I loved those pictures. Because to me, they're still bright, but they're muted, more neutral and calming for me. And I reused a lot of the trinkets and things that I already had um, on the patio. I just repurposed most of it and just put that topiary I found um, at Goodwill the other day for like $3.98. So now we're going to work our way to the back, but we'll turn around so you can see again the view. And I that's my lighting. I already had the lighting up here. So we're going to work our way back to our dining area. Let's go.
all right you guys just really quick this is the back of the couch area and it's just this small table where you can put your drinks um if you're sitting at either side of the couch so you don't have to get up and come to this table you can put your drinks on those tables there i need to get some coasters but otherwise this is my little workstation and this is where i keep all of my doodads lysol wipes um paper towels gloves outside shoes my blower my broom my lights for my extra lights um, my gloves my masks this is where i should have came the other day and i knew better but i called myself being in a hurry but god so this is where i'm keeping everything so i have no excuse on why i cannot put a mask and glove gloves on so this is going to be my little workstation and it's located right behind the couch so we ready now y'all come on jesus he put it on my heart and i just put these african-american these afro-american books um here and i just thought um there's this old mark twain book but i just put this little area here just to have my little workstation when i need to clean back here and this is my chandelier now we painted this chandelier it used to be orange but it is now black. We went ahead and painted it black. I need to get some artwork for those corners over there. So I'm on the lookout for those. I repurposed this plant and all we did was paint the bottom gold and put it on a table to prop it up and give it a little more depth and height. This is our little bistro table that we painted. It used to be a really beautiful island blue, but we went ahead and painted it black. And it came out so beautiful. And so these are all of those bowls and plates that we got from Home Goods. Um, so we made this cute little bistro area for you to come and sit if you want to have breakfast, lunch, whatever. You sit out here and have your dinner because it's so beautiful out. Um, but just took those gold plates we got from Goodwill. Um, and those placemats we got thrifted. All of this stuff was thrifted except for the bowls. They came from, I think, TJ Maxx for like $3. Um, and we just made it for two people because there's only a two bistro set table. But it came out so well. I'm waiting on another rug to, we're going to have a rug there to layer. I'm just waiting for it to get here. As a matter of fact, I'm, it's at five below. I just need to go get it. I saw it. If you watch my last haul. It was in one of the halls um, and I forgot to get the rug while I was there. I ended up getting this one, but this one is ended up being too small. So I'm going to get a bigger one to layer underneath that one so we can cover that corner up and make it, you know, a little more layered. But I love the way it came out. But I love that pop of color back there, those gold pillows. And I'm looking for some green hunter green seat cushions. So if you know where I can find some let me know but i love this little area because sometimes i come home from work and i'll have my lunch at home and i'll just come sit out here and eat lunch and enjoy my day and then go back to work so i love how the curtains came out it just makes it look like one big picture window and they're just simple black sheer black curtains so even in the daytime if i close those you can watch the projector screen back here because it keeps it dark enough um, because the screen is already dark if you close that it makes it even darker back here so it kind of helps with the lighting for the projector but I think so far this came out really really good let me know what your favorite area is so far we'll go ahead and get to the last area of the patio this is under the welcome sign I love 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 it you guys are always welcome honey don't you ain't no invitation just tell me you're on the way but i love you let's go ahead and get to the last part and then we'll get to my favorite part of the video all right so this area here is i'm calling just my reading nook area and you guys were with me when i found these um faux ferns and this little um and uh, signature s like this my little sugar i call it my little sugar mama sign um at the goodwill and we found most of this all at the thrift store i think the only thing we got from home goods was that candle candelabra that candle holder and i'm looking for some long skinny candles to put in there 
but I'm sure I'll run past some in Goodwill. This is one of my favorite plants. Um, one of my girlfriends gave me before she moved to California. Um, and it has budded so beautiful. It used to be one baby plant and look how big it is. Let me see if I can get down so you can see how big it is gorgeous. So I surrounded it with a lot of other greenery and we went ahead and put some books back here. I want to put more books, but I went ahead and put some books because I'm going to have this as my reading area when we do our book club. If you are joining the book club, my plan and God willing, we want to do the first Sunday of July. We'll do a live, not that 4th of July, because I know y'all going to be busy. But we'll pick one of the, the days that works best for everybody to discuss the book that we're reading. And it's The Coldest Winter by Sister Soldier. So, and it's part one. I know there's a part two, but we're going to start with part one. And then Kelsey, my girlfriend, Kelsey. Hey, Kelsey. We're going to, she's going to come over. We'll talk about the book and then she'll name the next book that she picked. And then we'll go from there. And if you guys like it, our last book will be more informational, more knowledgeable. You know, we're going to get our summer read in of, of fantasism. And then we'll end it with some God and some, some information and insight. One of those types of books at the end of the summer. So I hope you guys like this area, but I wanted to keep it really clean. See, I didn't put a lot of stuff on the walls. I just wanted it to be really clean and serene and peaceful back here. So I'm going to add a couple more books to that. That way I don't have to go in the house when I want to read a book. Um, but yeah, this is my little area for that. And I hope you guys like it. And that, like I said, everything, mostly everything back here was thrifted or from a clearance rack. So I really hope you guys see the vision and love the way or the direction that I went in. But let me know what your favorite area is. And I'll see you guys in a second for our favorite part of the video. All right. So I'll give you one more view of the entire patio from the back here. If you come in through the back door, this is what it looks like. It is just so peaceful and serene back here. God is so amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Now we're going to get to our favorite part of the video where I just get the love on y'all because I do. I love y'all so much. All right, y'all. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. It was a little different and I know you can't really see the colors as vibrant as they are in the dark. So I promise I will try to make sure in the morning I get up and get some footage of the daytime look. Um, and what the what it looks like in the daytime, I'll just say that. But I will not have all the lights and things on. But you will get to see what it looks like with the natural lighting. Um, because when it's dark outside, it just looks like one big picture curtain. It's so beautiful back here, y'all. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the patio reveal. We've been working hard. My family chipped in. It was just a really loving effect. The devil hate to see when families love on each other like that. And that's all that was the devil trying to put fear in me to not enjoy this piece of God that he has put back here for me. And it's not going to happen. That's not how I operate. I do have times where in this process, when that happened, that fear went in. And I was like, I am not going back out there, but I've been praying on it. So y'all keep me in your prayers that the Lord keeps healing my mind and overshadowing those thoughts with his love and his thoughts and the way he sees things for me not them crazy things i was thinking like lord i can't even sit in my backyard but god is too good god is amazing i know he is always here back here with me and everything is gonna be all right things happen i just have to be more careful and i'm just saying this because god put on my heart to make sure i help if, if i can help somebody else so Make sure you put your gloves and your masks on when you're cleaning anything, anywhere. I don't care if you in your house or out your house. And I know better, but I learned. I don't care how old you get. You ain't never too old to learn. I learned. I have my station now. And even when I came out here tonight, I went ahead and I put my gloves on. I had everything together. And that's just how it's going to be from now on. 
taking one thing at a time and start taking my time. I was so busy in a hurry trying to do everything so fast for y'all. And I and just, I, Carla, I love you. And again, I want to say thank you for those words of encouragement and hearing your testimony, honey. I just need to slow down and we're going to enjoy this process the rest of the summer. The Lord say, honey, what she say? We ain't going nowhere. We got a long time to finish all of this. So with all of the love that God has for us, I will not let fear creep in. When it does, we just going to pray on it. And the Lord is bigger than fear. So he is going to overshadow it and he is going to take it away. That's why we're finishing this tonight. I did not want to not do this because I was afraid. Because God is too good, honey. He is too good. And I knew he was going to see me through it because he, he with us. Mm -hmm. And he told me, keep on going. No matter what is happening, we're going to be all right. So it came out. I think I love it. And I know that's the most important part. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the patio also. And like I said, I'm going to put in some of the daytime so you can really get a feel of the color. But it just looks like one big living room back here. And it's so peaceful. It really is. Let me tell you something. If you don't know Jesus, keep on watching. Because I'm going to tell you about it every chance I get, honey. I, and I am. Because he's so good. So I want to thank you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed the way it's coming along. We're not done yet. But it's coming along just. I love it though, y'all. Look at. Come on, Jesus. Look how pretty that looks. Yeah, I like it. So I love you guys so much. And I thank you so much for stopping by Thick Chick Thrifts, honey, where we are usually doing some fashion. We're doing a little home decor today. I really hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you let me know where your spot is so I can put your name on your spot so nobody don't get your spot, honey. You got to be here so I can, we can watch some movies and play some cards and games. But we're going to have some fun back here this summer, y'all. So God willing, we're going to have a good time, honey. The Lord is good. And we're going to show enjoy it. So I love y'all so, so much. And I thank y'all. Listen, we got fun with the book club. Get your book. Get you some tea, whatever you're going to be drinking, wine, whatever it is. It's fine. Come on back here and enjoy. And let's just have a good time and praise the Lord, honey. And Because that's how you do. We're going to praise him anyhow. No matter what, we're just going to keep praising him. But you do it with a smile. That's what we do. So we're going to enjoy. But I'm going to stop talking and just make sure you know, as long as y'all know the Lord love you, we on the same page, honey. We're friends. We're family. I'm always here. If you need me, leave me a comment and let me know how you doing. But I thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed. And I, God willing, will see you guys next week because we're doing an Uptown Cheapskate Hall. And y'all know it's a good one. So I'll see you guys, God willing, next Sunday. I love y'all. I'm going to be quiet and let you enjoy the last little piece of scenery for the night. I love y'all. And I'll see you guys, God willing, next Sunday. Later.